Good morning, honorable members. Um, the uh, chair, good morning, sir. Can I please see your picture? Good morning, morning, Shelley. Good morning, honorable baby. Long time. Oh, long time of this retired. Don't worry, you'll stay. Yes. Turn it around, uh, Honorable Bibi. You forgot. Let's ah. turn it around. How can I forget? Yes, that way. That, that way. How can I forget? Sweetheart? Thank you. I'm Thank okay. you. Just, just go to your to your left a little bit with your body, with your chair. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Where the ring is, go to where the ring, the ring side. Okay. No, the other way. The other way, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm okay. Now I'm Yes, nice. but I think your shot is not nice. I'm going to. Oh, I'm using a laptop which is having a challenge oh, of me God, getting God. a picture. I cannot show myself. Don't do anything. Oh, let's see yes. if you.
Muslim mistakes. He is no more, uh, and all of us, uh, I'm sure, are consciously aware uh, that COVID-19 is, is upon us. Uh, so before we observe a moment of silence for prayer or meditation, we'll do well to note amongst others the following, that well figures on COVID-19 deaths stands at 4.4 million people, recovered 188 million people, mild conditions stands at 17,936,981. In relation to South Africa, as of the 5th of August, 2021, Overall, South African COVID-19 cases reached its highest at 2.4 million infections. Uh, uh, the largest, these are largest volumes of confirmed cases compared to other African uh, countries. Regionally, Gauteng, especially Johannesburg, was the hardest hit. Uh, with 869,000 uh, cases. Western Cape, especially Cape Town, 410,000 cases. Wazulu Natal, especially Devon, 402,000 cases. Uh, and deaths, deaths stand at about 78,000 uh, people. And no province has been left unaffected. So as you observe uh, uh, a moment of silence for prayer and meditation, let's also reflect um, uh, and think deeply about uh, these cases, about this uh, situation. We'll now observe a moment of silence for prayer uh, or meditation. Let's please bow our heads. Purpose of the quorum, all delegates in the virtual platform shall be considered to be present in the house. That delegates must always switch on their videos. That delegates should ensure that the microphones on their gadgets are muted and must always remain muted unless you have permission to, to speak. That uh, the interpretation facility is active and, and that any delegate who wishes to speak must use the raise your hand function. As we always say, that by now members are familiar with the raise your hand uh, function. Having said that, honorable delegates, I have been informed that there will be no notice of motion or motions without, without notice. So we'll proceed uh, to the order of, of the day. Uh, we will now proceed to the order of the day, uh, consideration of the report of Select Committee on Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Water, Sanitation, and Human Settlements on the notice of intervention issued in terms of Section 1391C of the Constitution 1996 uh, in relation to the OR, OR Tambo District Municipality. I now take this opportunity to call on Honorable TSC Dodovu to present the committee report. Honorable Dodovu. Honorable Chairperson. Yes. Uh, I've been uh, asked to, to table the report uh, on behalf of uh, Honorable Dodovu. My name is yeah, Manta Hai. Uh, no, thank you very much. We'll ask uh, Honorable Mandakai to then, uh, in the absence of President Dodobu, Honorable Dodobu, uh, uh, to present the report. Honorable Kai. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Uh, greetings uh, to you, to the Deputy Chairperson, uh, the Chief Whip uh, of the Council, uh, Honorable Members, uh, Special Delegates. Uh, 
uh, MCs per president and other special delegates. The Select Committee on Corporate Governance and Traditional Affairs, having considered the request by the National Council of Provinces uh, to consider and report on the intervention a notice invoked in our Tambo District Municipality in terms of Section 139.1c of the Constitution. The Select Committee reports as follows. In terms of NCOP Rule 101, the Office of the Chairperson of the NCOP referred the notice of dissolution by the Eastern Cape Provincial Council to the Select Committee for consideration and reporting. On 18 August, yes, uh, Honorable Guy, I'm sure you will be able to proceed. But I'm muted by the. So, I think the host is so. muting me. I don't know why. Uh, I've been muted by the host. There's a problem about your your, your picture. So your picture is half on the screen. Uh, oh, sorry. So, sorry, yes. Please, I'm sorry. Uh, we, we are in the, uh, we are in the oversight. Sure we'll be able to adjust other problems if they are in. Please proceed, Honorable Kai. OK. On the, on the 18 August 2021, the Select Committee held a virtual interactive and consultative meeting with the Eastern Cape Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, COCTA internal and stakeholders of the district municipality on the notice of intervention invoked in terms of section 139.1c of the constitution in the district municipality. The main objective of the consultative virtual meeting was to solicit opinions of all stakeholders on the constitutional, procedural and substantive matters related to the invocation of the section 139.1c in the district municipality. Eastern Cape Department of Cocta briefed the meeting on the constitutional, procedural, and substantive matters. The mayor and the speaker of the district municipality, representatives of the political parties, organized labor, traditional leaders, local municipalities, business forum, and youth structures tabled their opinions on the invocation of Section 139.1c of the Constitution in the district municipality. The Department of Cogda briefed the Select Committee and the stakeholders on the invocation of the Section 139.1c of the Constitution. The presentation focused on the background, substantive matters related to financial management, service delivery, good governance, institutional development, factors taken by the Executive Council as basis for dissolution and the state of affairs in the district municipality. The department reported that the decision to invoke provision of section 139.1c of the constitution was done after the district municipality was given support on several areas by, the, by both the national and provincial treasuries and the department of culture and all these efforts couldn't yield the expected results. The district municipality has been facing serious governance and administrative crisis in June 2020, the municipal manager was placed on a precautionary suspension following a media expose of the alleged payments to various companies without having done any work. Consequently, various investigative agencies came on board to establish the veracity of the allegation and who could be held accountable for such deeds. The President of South Africa issued proclamation number R23 of 2020 in terms of Gazette number 43546, dated July 2020, for special investigative units. After the request by the Premier to investigate on the procurement of personal protective equipment in the district municipality was done by the department on the institution with a view to assess the political environment under which the district municipality operates and how this impacted on the social responsibility of the district municipality.
Honorable Jefferson, I see that I have challenges with my uh, uh, internet connection. I'm in the West Coast, so I will uh, quickly then go to the the recommendation uh, of uh, of the committee. Please proceed. Thank you. Um, just uh, just uh, pardon me. Uh, I'm trying to get to the to the recommendation uh, on our participation. Let me start, uh, Honorable Chairperson, if you allow me, with the observation of the Silio Committee. The Silio Committee has noted on the 8th of July 2021, a special meeting of the Executive Council after tabling uh, of the detailed report by the Department of uh, COCTA, resolved that it is considering invoking the provision of Section 139.1c in the affairs of OR Tambo District Municipality and directed the MEC responsible for COCTA to write to the Speaker and the executive mayor of OR Tambo District Municipality and request reasons why the provision of section 139.1c may not be invoked in the municipality and request that a response be given within seven business, uh, seven business days. The SIP committee has also noted on the 9th July 2021, the notices of intention to evoke pro the provision of section 139.1c in the affairs of the OR Tambo District Municipality were issued by the MEC and delivered to both the Speaker and the Executive Mayor as directed by the Executive Council. The Select Committee has further noted that according to the notice, the Provincial Executive of the Eastern Cape resolved on the 4th August 2021 to intervene in the municipality in terms of Section 139, 1C of the Constitution. The notice from the MEC for COCTA dated 6 August 2021, submitted in terms of section 139.3A2 in Roman figures, was received by the NCOP on the same day. The CELA committee has observed and noted that the substantive matters related to the invocation of section 139.1C of the constitution in the district municipality revolve around local government pillars of financial management service delivery, good governance, and institutional capability. The select committee has noted with concern through the inputs made by some stakeholders and analysis of the report presented that the relations between the speaker and the executive mayor has broken down to the extent that the executive mayor is no longer attending council meetings convened by the speaker, by the speaker questioning the composition of the council Further recalled councillors from local municipality are always invited to be part of the council meetings by the speaker, resulting in the composition of the meetings to be questioned. The select committee noted that most of the internal and external stakeholders who oppose the invocation of section 139.1c of the constitution in the district municipality raise concern with, the, with regard to the failure of the MEC for contact to table the report of the council on forensic investigation conducted in terms of section 106 of the Municipal Systems Act. The select committee has taken cognizance of the constitutional provision that the dissolution takes effect 14 days from the date of the receipt of the NCOB, that is 20th of August, 2021. According to the notice, if the dissolution takes effect, Mr. Basil Masse will be appointed as an administrator to act until a newly elected municipal council has been declared elected. On recommendation of the select committee, having virtual consulted and engaged with the Department of Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, as well as the internal and external stakeholders of the district municipality, the select committee recommends to the NCOP in terms of Rule 101 as follows. The NCOP approves the invocation of Section 139.1c of the Constitution in our Tambo District Municipality. Two, the Eastern Cape MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs 
should table a report of the forensic investigation conducted in terms of section 106 of the Municipal Systems Act to the NCOP. Three, the Eastern Cape MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs should provide quarterly progress reports on forensic investigation report conducted by the Special Investigation Unit in terms of the presidential proclamation. The Select Committee on Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs should align its quarterly program to ensure continuous monitoring of the implementation of the finding and recommendation of the investigation report conducted in terms of section 106 of the Municipal Systems Act and special investigation in terms of the pres presidential proclamation in local and district municipality. I so tabled the report, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Kai. I now put the, the question. The question is that the report uh, be, a, be a adopted. Uh, but before I proceed to, to voting, I shall allow provinces the opportunity to make their declarations of vote in terms of Rule 71, if they so wish. And just to remind uh, honorable members, uh, a maximum of three minutes uh, will be allowed per uh, declaration. Any province wishing to make a declaration? Western Cape Chair, good morning. Western Cape. Please proceed. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, honorable members. Chair, I would just like to know the how to the house to know that is far. It was very unfortunate during our consultation that a Salga was not given an opportunity to, to comment on this particular intervention. Honorable Chair, the Democratic Alliance cannot in good conscience support the recommendations of the Select Committee on Cocta to dissolve our Tambo district municipality. The exceptional circumstances requiring drastic measures should have been acted upon when the council chamber became a war zone for factional infightings. This despite the Auditor General reporting financial mismanagement irregularities and fraud and corruption, which systematically nurtured itself in every department. With so much uncertainty whether the local government election will be held in October 2021, February 2022, or even later than that, the provincial government in the Eastern Cape has found it convenient to request a dissolution of this municipality at the back of two high court judgments ordering dissolution of Makana and Enoch Mgijima municipalities, which of course they elected to waste taxpayers' money and appealed. It is clear to everyone that once again, ANC factional battles have taken root in municipalities and the ANC will not mind sacrificing the lives and livelihoods of people of OR Tambo in their quest to settle and sort out political scores. The Democratic Alliance has on numerous instances written to MEC Nata to raise alarm bells about the deterioration state of affairs in OR Tambo. But of course, we were ignored. Now, they, now that they are ineptitude has been laid bare, they want to wash their hands off the people of our Tambo district municipality. This is an unconstitutional act which can never master constitutional scrutiny. The DA chooses to stand with the people of our Tambo and we object, I thank you. Thank you very much. Any other province wishing to make a declaration? Any other province wishing to make a, a declaration? No. Uh, we will therefore uh, pr proceed. We shall now proceed to the vote, voting on the question. And the question is that the report be, be adopted. I now call upon the provinces to cast their votes. And when called upon, heads of delegations must indicate whether they vote in favor, against, or abstain. We'll start with the Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. Eastern Cape. Iavuma is report. Eastern Cape uh, vote, uh, voting in favor. Free State. Free State supports the report. Free State supports the report. Gauteng. Gauteng supports the report. 
Gauteng supports the report, KwaZulu Natal. In KwaZulu Natal, I cast a report is done. KwaZulu Natal, I cast a report. Uh, Limpopo. Limpopo support the report. Limpopo support the report. Mpumalanga. Mpumalanga support the report. Mpumalanga support the report. Northern Cape. Northern Cape support, Chair. Northern Cape supports the report. Western Cape. Tiveskap understand me. Understand me. Again, thank you very much. Northwest. Chair. Northwest. Northwest support the report. Not well support the report. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, voting being closed, obviously, uh, eight uh, provinces, uh, if you look at the results, voted uh, four and one against. Uh, uh, I therefore declare. Uh, the report adopted in accordance with section 65 of the constitution. Uh, thank you very much. Um, to move on, honorable delegates, that concludes the business of the day. The house is adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Oh, yes, Mama Zwa. Me jad, Oji. Thank you. Now for the women, now for the women start the launch, please. Okay. You will. You will, my Miss Boss. Um, yes, yes, I look at that. Yeah, can you hear me? Now, yes, yes. Recording okay. stopped. Okay. No, no, I think uh, we we may adjourn. Okay. Unless, Thank you. Unless if unless if there's anything that anyone would want to say. Uh, just to remind, you, just yeah. remind my colleagues that we're sitting on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Uh, it's the ministerial briefing on Tuesday and the NCOP sitting on Wednesday. I will send out the duty rosters again. Um, but I, I will confirm with you on the NCOP sitting uh, advocate that was supposed to be the joint one on Wednesday so that I can revise. Okay, but that sitting is going well on my head. It's going ahead. Okay, then I'll just see. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay. okay, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Good ending meeting. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Bye.